Well, the third signing of the summer has been confirmed and this one looks very sensible. Hello everyone, my name is Kieran, welcome to the channel. As you would have seen by the Newport Club social medias, by the website, wherever you would have seen it, is that Bryn Morris has signed on a two-year contract following the expiration of his deal at Grimsby. In this video, I'm just going to talk about uh, the kind of career that he's had leading up to joining Newport involving a variety of EFL clubs as well as some opinions from some Grimsby fans I've had to kind of talk to and what they think of the signing and then my kind of overview of it. So if you enjoy the videos in these kind of formats, please guys leave a like, subscribe, let me know any uh, improvements you'd add in the comments. And yeah, trying to hit 100 before the uh, season starts. If you could help me out to reach that goal, it'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So yeah, Morris has had a uh, pretty illustrious career in the EFL so far. Starting off his career in the Middlesbrough Academy, then the clubs include that he's played for Burton Albion, Coventry, York City, Walsall, Shrewsbury Town, Wickham, Portsmouth, Northampton Town, Burton Albion, Hartlepool, and then of course Grimsby before joining Newport. An array of EFL clubs there in across a load of divisions, all the way from Championship, down to League 2, even down to, uh, I believe, National League for a little bit. But either way, it looks to be a uh, very good move in the fact that he's got a load of kind of experience at teams. He clearly knows how to play football if he's attracting interest from all these teams. And yeah, it, it's an uh, exciting deal when you kind of look at the uh, career he's had so far. So yeah, I'm just going to get into what... A few Grimsby fans have kind of been saying about the signing, just so we can potentially get a better idea on it, and then I'll give my overall thoughts. So yeah, uh, from a uh, couple of Grimsby fans that I've had a talk to now, is that he started his career at Grimsby pretty well, scoring the goal against uh, us at Rodney Parade in that. I believe it was a 2-0 loss, which is, you know, I mean, we won't talk about that game. But he had a few injuries, some uh, difficulties with fitness, and since then, supposedly, uh, some have said that he hasn't kind of come back in the same form. But he's got overall some pretty good qualities that mainly include being a good passer of the ball, which, yeah, I mean, I'll talk about my opinions in a minute, but that is a very beneficial thing to have because passing accuracy and these kind of things is something that we've lacked in terms of uh, certain points throughout last season and seasons previous to it. So yeah, it seems to be a very sensible move in the kind of way that, of course, we've got it for free. Uh, so again, no transfer budget spend. That's the third signing we've got on a free here. And yeah, it seems that he's a player that, so long as we can keep him away from injuries and these kind of things, he could uh, sprout out to be a very beneficial player to us. So yeah, I'm going to get through my uh, final thoughts here and then just kind of conclude the video here. So yeah, I mean, my final thoughts, it seems to be a very sensible signing. Uh, Coughlin said he's happy to have uh, kind of made the signing. Seems that uh, Morris is happy that he's here now. It's a big trek for him to, of course, go from uh, Grimsby over here to uh, Newport. But hopefully he can settle down relatively quick, get some form in quick. Uh, I think the only kind of concern that I can potentially have is that I've had a few mentions of him uh, having injuries and potential fitness issues. But what we've kind of seen in the uh, so far situation with Coughlin being here is that he's very good at getting a player, getting players to go from not lazy necessarily, but kind of not as energetic as you know they can be. And he's able to provide them with uh, that ability to train better and get the best out of a player that can physically be there. It looks like a player that can be developed. He plays in a, a, a kind of CDM centre-back kind of role. A little bit more defensive than your uh, bog-standard centre-mid. But we know better than, I mean, a lot of people with the way that uh, Coughlin plays is that it seems to be a lot of kind of defensive football it's a uh, and with that it seems to be something that we can develop Morris into this system really uh, well especially with the uh, situation regarding people saying to me that he's good at passing being able to distribute 
from the back, whether that be slow, quick, whatever. It seems that he's going to have the uh, qualities to be able to do that. So, I mean, with that, there's a very promising outlook towards this signing. Two years is a, a very good uh, situation, you know, very good deal to have. It means we'll have time to integrate him into the team. Being 27 as well, he's still got a good few years left if we are to, I don't know, potentially go further with this signing, uh, uh, further down the line in terms of years. But I'm not going to go that far because, of course, he's just signed. But it's promising potentially for a future kind of uh, asset to have. But, yeah, right now, overall, good signing. Very sensible. Looks like he can definitely improve the midfield and make sure that we're better on the ball, better possessed, better passing qualities it looks like a very sensible signing so yeah let me know your thoughts on uh, the signing of Bryn Morris down in the comments below I'll be uh, interested to read them because it seems there's a lot of mixed views about him as I mentioned we're trying to get a uh, 100 subscribers before the season starts if you could uh, help out the cause of it by uh, subscribing that would be very greatly appreciated share this video around with uh, anyone that potentially would want to know more about this uh new signing of course i've talked about all the other signings that we've made as well as just kind of generic football videos so uh, yeah support the uh, channel any way you see fit there's a link in the description along with all my other social medias and yeah i hope you all enjoy the rest of your day afternoon evening whenever you're watching this and yeah take care